Hi everyone, my name is Park Min Tan from the University of Pennsylvania. Today I'd like to tell you about one of our recent works done collaboratively with the two gentlemen here. Yi Chan is from Oxford and Charlie is my supervisor. This is a brief outline of today's talk. Um, the result being presented here has been summarized in this newly accepted uh, paper to PRB, um, which is actually a companion paper to an earlier one also on PRB written by Charlie and Eddie Stern about the couple one construction of Z4 on quantum four states. The relationship between these two papers would be explained in two slides. But here, first let me motivate the work that we are pursuing here. We are interested in interacting with logical bases, and fractional quantum Hall is, of course, a prototypical example of interacting with logical bases. It hosts anions with exotic braiding and fusion statistics that are so drastically different from the fundamental particles that we have seen in nature. So it's fundamentally important. Um, at the same time, it's also practically important because there have been many, there have been many proposals of using non-abelian anions in particular to uh, store quantum information on locally and then be used to build quantum computers with robust topological protection. So with these nice states, of course, the more the merrier. And that's why we set off in search of new families of non-abelian fractional quantum hall states. And Equally important, we want to establish the existence of some of these states um, at a firmer footing from a microscopic perspective. By saying that, I actually mean some of these non-abelian states uh, were first proposed from a field theory perspective. And the relation to electron is actually not clear. We're actually not clear whether the electrons can do the job of producing these nice uh, non-abelian states. One particular example uh, is provided by this orbital quantum four states predicted by Bakashi and Wen back in 2010. In a series of paper, they wrote down a, a type of effective transcendent theory that has two types of U1 gauge fields and an additional Z2 gauge symmetry that interchanges these two gauge fields. What they found is that um, this type of effective field theory would describe fractional quantum four states whose neutral sector is described by this U1 mod Z2 orbifold conformal field theory. To understand what an orbifold conformal field theory is about, we can think about what is a U1 conformal field theory. The circle theory, which describes a, a, a scalar field theta, let me call it theta, that is compacted by on a circle. Now, if you look at the circle, it has a Z2 reflection symmetry that brings theta to minus theta. If you gauge that symmetry, you would obtain the U1 mod Z2 orbital CFT. Now, the subject of orbital conformal field theory actually has pretty long history. Um, uh, this is a seminal paper on this subject, so I'm not going to talk too much about uh, the details of this subject except to mention a few important points that would be relevant to fractional quantum four physics. First of all, for a sensible topological base, namely to have finite number of quasi-particles, we know by what Moore and Reed taught us, this correspondence between quasi-particles in the bulk topological base and primary fields of the, or ed, of the edge CFT, uh, a sensible topological base would be described by rational conformal field theory, which have finite number of primary fields. In this specific context, uh, Diagraph et al. taught us that the radius of the orbifold has to be square root of an integer that I call p divided by 2. And in this case, the number of primary fields would be finite and equals to p plus 7. This figure on the right nicely summarizes some simple uh, examples of um, orbital CFT at different radius. In particular, when p equals to 2, that is when the radius of the orbifold is 1, it is known that the optimal CFT corresponds to two decoupled copies of Ising CFT. Um, if you're familiar with Ising, Ising CFT, you would know that there are three primary fields in Ising CFT. Three times three is nine, and in the diagraph tells you that um, when P is two, you have nine primary fields. So things check. So that's the first important point. The second point is that it's also very important to distinguish the case when P is even and when P is odd, because these two cases have drastically different fusion structures. For P being an odd integer, there's a Z4 fusion algebra, so the corresponding fractional quantum four states would have a quasi-particle that would fuse with three of its copies in order to form the vacuum, to form the identity. That is the state that Charlie and Adi studied earlier. They uh, constructed a couple of wine model to build these states, and we're not going to talk about that today. Today we're going to focus on the case when P is even. For the even P orbitals, it corresponds to fractional quantum four states where you have 
two distinct types of anions or quasi particles, and each of them can be fused with its own copy, just one piece of its own copy, and form the vacuum, fuse the identity. So that is the Z2 cross Z2 orbital quantum four state that we want to construct out of uh, out of coupled wire model today. And the third point, third important point that I would like to mention is that in orbital CFT, there is something called a twist field here labeled by sigmas and taus. These twist fields have non-abelian fusion algebra. They would correspond to the non-abelian quasi-particles uh, in the bulk fractional quantum four phase. So thanks to the field theory understanding progressed by uh, Digraph and his colleagues, as well as Bokashi and Wen, we actually know that um, if these fractional quantum four states exist, they would be non-abelian. They would be very interesting and maybe very practical, uh, practically important. So, so what's missing here? What's missing here is the linked electrons. We're actually not sure whether the electrons can do the job to produce these states because after all, the field theories, the field theories are not written out in terms of the electronic degrees of freedom. So to, to fill in that little gap of understanding, we use coupled Y construction to study these states. So here in this slide, I try to quickly um, advertise the philosophy behind coupled Y construction by illustrating how we would use a coupled Y model to construct the simplest type of fractional quantum four states, the Laughlin states. And then we'll use the ideas that we develop here, borrow them, generalize them a little bit, and to construct the the even p orbital quantum four states. So if you want to construct Laughlin states, say a filling one over m, what you would do is the following. You would take an array of wires, and each of them being described by a Leffinger liquid, some circle of informal field theory, and then you couple them by tunneling of electrons between wires. There are two important ingredients here. The first one, which is the first term here in the Hamptonian, describes some intra-wire forward scattering of electrons that would decouple two Cairo modes, such that each of the decoupled Cairo modes would be described by the correct conformal field theory. What I mean is that if you want to construct Laughlin states at this feeling, what of M, you would want the Cairo modes to, decou to be decoupled and be described by the U1 level M circle CFT. So that is the first ingredient, and you have to turn on some intra wire forward scattering in order, to do, in order to do that. Now the second term, which is the cosine term in the sine god Hamptonian, would, uh, would arise by coupling the wires together by uh, tunneling of electrons. And when that term flows to strong coupling, well actually, we, if you're serious about couple wire construction, you have to go through some careful analysis to convince uh, yourself and convince others that this, firm, this term can, can, can always be guaranteed to flow to strong coupling. But I won't bother you with that today. We just proceed by saying that, well, if this cosine term flows to strong coupling, this theta, which is a bulk variable, would be pinned at a minimum of the cosine potential, and subsequently the bulk will be gapped. Now, to, to, to get the second ingredient, what you're actually doing is to take um, the left chiral mode in this wire and, and, and couple it to the right chiral mode in the next wire by tunneling of electron. And you do this repeatedly, repeatedly uh, across the Y model. And doing so, you will get the bulk. But notice that as you get the bulk, at the very top and the very bottom edge, you still have two chiral modes that are decoupled from the bulk. So they will be described by the corresponding um, conformal field theory. So now you will see there are two virtuals, at least two virtuals of couple Y construction. First of all, it is an exactly solvable microscopic model for interacting electrons in which you can demonstrate the existence of a robust topological base. And secondly, you can also demonstrate an explicit relation between a gap, a bulk gap topological phase and a gapless edge conformal field theory. So now we have these ideas developed here, we want to borrow it and generalize it to construct um, the Z2 cross Z2 orbital quantum four states. The natural question to ask is what do we take as a single wire in our model? In this story, it's not going to be a Luttinger liquid because a Luttinger liquid is described by a circle CFT. But, we want, but here we want orbital CFT. To answer that question, we look back at this um, figure that summarizes orbital CFT at different radius. And we notice that actually, uh, so these red points correspond to the even p orbital CFT that we want uh, to, to, to construct. And the simplest point 
actually is something that we're familiar with. We can actually construct a sim this Ising plus Ising point by taking two layers of more read quantum Hall states, a bilayer of more read quantum Hall states. Because we know the neutral sector of more read quantum Hall is Ising CFD. So if you have a bilayer of more read quantum Hall states, the neutral sector is automatically two decoupled copies of Ising, and that is the P equals two, R equals to one point of the orbital CFD. And we also figured out that we can turn on some intra-wire scattering which in the where we want to construct Laughlin states uh, in corresponds to some forward scattering of electrons. And in this case, in our case here, it corresponds to some scattering of quasi-particles within the quantum horse In particular, if you turn on this scattering of Marana, neutral Marana quasi-particles in the more states, um, both at the top and bottom layers, we show that we can actually tune the radius of the orbital CFT within each wire. So that is the first ingredient that we want. Now with the first ingredient, we proceed to get our second ingredient, which is to couple the wires together. Uh, now each wire already has two decoupled current modes, each of them described by um, the orbital CFT and radius that you want. The question is how to couple them together. They are both charged and neutral sectors in our story, and we found that we can, we can devise two types of interwire tunneling terms by a charge to e tunneling, so tunnel a pair of electrons across wire, accompanied by some intra-wire scattering of some abelian quasi-particles, we realize that we can get on the charge sector, the bulk charge sector. And the resulting gap state in the charge sector is described by this K matrix and this T vector. So it's like a, it's in the charge sector, it's like a abelian um, helper by layer state. And using that, K matrix formulas, and you can find the the uh, filling fraction to be this. So here you can see L and K describes how many abelian quasi particles you scatter in, 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 in each layer. It's actually playing a similar role as the M here. The M in the Laughlin states construction describes how many electrons for ele uh, for scattering of electrons is happening within each Y. Well, but that's just the story for the charge sector. In the charge sector, it looks like an abelian and abelian states, but we actually have the neutral sector, and it is a neutral sector that gives you the, the that gives you the non-abelian flavor. To get out the neutral sector, uh, we, we realize that we have to tunnel one electron across wires, accompanied by some scattering, intra-wire scattering of quasi-particles that are non-trivial in the neutral sector. For example, it, it may include scattering of the Majorana quasi-particles and also the non-abelian sigma quasi-particles within the bilayer Mori uh, quantum Hall strips. And by further requiring the locality of this tunneling operator, we realize that there are extra conditions to be imposed on the value of L and K, on the values that L and K can take. So finally, we, 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 we reach this expression for the feeling fraction where the even P orbital states can appear. For fermionic systems, it appears where the feeling is one over an integer. So, so the bottom line here is that we developed an, an exactly solvable microscopic models for interacting with electrons, and we demonstrate that we can get the orbital quantum Hall states, namely we can have a gap fault, and with a gapless edge described by orbital conformal field theory at even P. So finally, let me talk, also talk about something that may be experimentally relevant, and that is the charge spectrum of the quasi particles in the orbital states. So the issue here is to figure out a correct way to assign the electric charge to quasi-particles labeled by different topological sectors, namely that are labeled by uh, different primary fields in the orbital CFT. Uh, the result is presented here, the general result is presented here. So on this, this on the right hand side, uh, this, these uh, labels, the fields, labels uh, the, the, the topological sectors. They represent the primary fields in the orbital CFT and and on the left hand side is the corresponding uh, charge vector. So basically these chi, chi's are integers, and you have a, you have a two component uh, vector of integer, which is related to the charge in the top layer and on the bottom layer through the K matrix introduced in the previous slide. In the specific case, in the simplest case actually, when the K matrix is this, we can actually nicely summarize this charge spectrum uh, in, in this simple figure here. And the, the points with different colors corresponds to quasi-particles at different topological sectors. It's 
I think it's important to emphasize that um, there's a mod 2 feature and also a two component of charge feature in this classification of uh, charge, uh, quasi particle charge spectrum, which is actually a reflection of the Z2 cross Z2 fusion structure ad advertised at the very beginning of this talk. Well, with that, I would like to summarize by saying that we have constructed a family of non abelian uh, quantum hole and fractional quantum hole states that are termed the Z2 cross Z2 orbital quantum hole states. And um, we also study the, the quasi particle ch charge spectrum, which might be experimentally relevant. The basic constituent in our, wire, in our coupled wire model is this a single wire composed of two layers of Mori quantum hole states. Um, I think we we, it would be important to also emphasize that we're not proposing some recipe for experimental realization. Instead, we are trying to develop a proof of principle that in electronic systems, in principle, these nice non abelian orbital fractional quantum hole states can really arise. We look forward to seeing uh, experimental works in the near future that is related to this subject. And with that, I would like to thank um, Professor Andy Stern from Wiseman Institute for many useful dis and, and illuminating discussions, and also for the funding from Simon's Foundation and Culture Foundation for their support. And most importantly, I would like to thank you for your attention.